Okay, so for this problem, um, basically we're shooting a bullet into a block, right? You should definitely draw a picture when you do these out. So our bullet's going into the block, it's going to embed itself in the block, and then the block itself is going to move this way, right? Some distance, we'll just call it x, in this way. So the, the common mistake people make, and maybe some of you just made this, is, well, what kind of energy does a bullet have right here? Kinetic. Kinetic energy. And then when it compresses, what kind of energy does it have back here? Spring, Spring potential. <laughs> so the big mistake is to go from kinetic all the way to spring potential, right? But there's this little part in the middle where it collides, and this is what kind of collision right here? Okay, which means energy is lost, right? There's going to be some <laughs> energy that's lost. So anyways, we're going to set this one up in two parts. So we're first going to go potential. We're not going to go to from potential. We're we going to start it way over here. So this is moving. Let's just call this with the velocity. Call this M1 and V1. These are going to collide with this right here. So when we do a collision type problem, are we using energy conservation or momentum conservation? Momentum. momentum. So we'll do that. P initial equals P final. M1, V1 equals. So now it sticks. So we're going to combine those masses, M1 plus M2. And then we'll call this the combo velocity. So this has a combination velocity here, right, as it's moving. Now one of the issues at this point is, let's check what we know. We know the mass, we know the mass, the mass. We don't know V combo, we don't know V1. So at this point we have two unknowns, right? So we need to get another equation to go ahead and solve for that one. So we're gonna go from this part, from here to here, from here to here. So at this point, this is moving, and what kind of energy does it have at that point? Kinetic energy, right? So now we're going to use energy conservation. So we're going to say this has some kinetic energy right here. And then it's going to compress the spring. What's it turning into? Spring potential, like that. Okay, so we're developing our second equation here because we have two unknowns. We want to get our two equations. So this would be one half. So what do I use for the mass for this? M1 plus M2, the combined masses, right? Because they're stuck together. And then the V is the V combo squared. And then that equals our US, 1 half KX squared. Okay, if you want, you can substitute one equation in for the other and solve it that way. Um, at this point, it might be just a little bit easier if we just find V combo first, okay? And then we can go backwards. This one's kind of a tricky problem because we're really, we're visualizing this in reverse. We're imagining that it's stuck here, and then it's coming back to here, and then it's coming back to here. So we're kind of solving this in reverse as we do it. So let's solve for V combo. You guys help me out with your calculators here. So one half, M1 was 0 0.012, M2, 0 0.1, yeah, don't forget to convert. Uh, and then V combo is what we're looking for. K was given, right, 150. And X is? <laughs> <laughs> All right, V combo, what are we getting for that? 29.27. Okay, so there's a V combo, and then we'll just throw that into here to solve for our V initial. Okay, so 0 0.012 V1 equals, again, that combo mass. So that's 
29.112. I just combine those masses and 29.3. Two seventy three. Did I do my math right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>